Well, I was born right in the middle of the self-esteem movement, right there on the cusp of Generation X and the Millennial Movement. So I was born right into this moment where in elementary classrooms and high school classrooms, we're hearing this mantra over and over. You can be anybody you want to be. You can do anything you want to do. Just reach for the stars. There's no limit for you to be who you want to be. But that idea didn't come from nowhere. There's nothing new under the sun. That goes back all the way to the garden. It's as old as Adam and Eve. Did God really say that? Is that who I really am? Is that who God really is? And so we see this movement really for hundreds of years, even starting back in the 1600s with the age of reason followed by the age of the enlightenment. And we've got these thinkers and we've got modernist philosophy. We've got writers like Emerson and philosophers like Karl Marx and scientists like Charles Darwin saying, there is no God. In fact, you are God. You decide what is true. You decide what is real. You make your own reality. And people threw off the shackles of the church, the shackles of the state, and they began to look inward. They began to look to themselves for what is true, what is real, and really drawing from within sort of this power, this self-reliance, even a self-deification, going as far as to say that deity lies within yourself. So the, the feminist movement that we see in the, in the mid-1900s and then the self-esteem movement that I was born into, it didn't come from nowhere. It's not a new idea. It's not a new way of thinking. We've been thinking this way since the time of creation. But the erroneous idea is that we are who we want to be. We are self-made. We make ourselves. We don't have a creator. We don't have a maker. We are whoever we want to be. Reach for the stars. Go get them. You go, girl, kind of philosophy that I grew up in. And while that is encouraging and energizing for a time, we actually aren't created that way. We're actually finite. We actually get tired and run out of steam. We don't have the power that we tell ourselves that we have. And so at the end of the day, it becomes an exhausting worldview, a worldview that actually ends up enslaving us to ourselves rather than freeing us. We think it will bring freedom, but it really brings captivity.